This is Greater MSP Business with Cindy Brucato. Most of us are familiar with websites like WebMD, where you can get basic information on healthcare. But now, one of our region's tech companies has produced software that can turn that internet search into a virtual clinic. Zipnosis, headquartered in Minneapolis, has developed a software platform that allows medical providers to give their patients actual diagnosis and treatment. With Zipnosis software, medical groups can create an online presence that allows staff to treat patients, even prescribe medication, without a trip to the doctor's office. We caught up with Zipnosis CEO John Pierce at his Minneapolis offices. Thanks for having us here today. Sure, thanks for being here. So how does the software work? Let's say that you thought you had a sinus infection mm -hmm. and instead of taking time off work to go into the urgent care, try to find a clinic setting, you would pull out your mobile phone and you might go to fairview.zipnosis.com and you would go to a website and you would enter in your basic personal information and then we've built this really intelligent um, software interview that asks you the same questions that a provider would ask you face to face. And that information gets sent to a Fairview clinician. And the Fairview clinician, they're generally working in urgent care or primary care. And they get a text or a page and it says, hey, there's a hypnosis visit in the queue. And again, part of the power of our platform is that they can also just pull up their phone, their mobile phone, and they look at the information, they review all your symptoms, and they go, diagnosis, treatment, in about two minutes time. It's so really, really, really fast. And then that information gets sent back to you. You can be out shopping or whatever. You get a text on your phone, you log back in, and you're able to see your diagnosis. And if there's a prescription, you pull up Google Maps and send it to the pharmacy of, of your choice. Are there limitations to what the software can do? Yep, absolutely. Um, there are a lot of limitations, and, and there are a couple of things that we look at for limitations. One would be what's, what's clinically appropriate, right? And if you've got chest pain and, and you're, you're feverish or the whatnot, you need to go in and, and be seen. And, and there's still even just sort of an appropriateness of if you have a really good relationship with your primary care physician and you want to go in and have them lay hands on you, do that, right? So we really see this as a choice in the market, an opportunity to extend that primary care relationship. A lot of times to, 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 um, to, to new patients as well. What have been the challenges to getting the software program going? The market just wasn't ready for it. We were trying to go direct to consumer, sell these $25 kind of minute clinic on the iPhone um, visits, and it just it wasn't a good business. And so what we did was we pivoted and said, hey, listen, maybe there's more value in providing it as a platform in a white label to health systems of the world. And that's where we took that platform that worked really well and kind of found our sweet spot in the business. And that sweet spot has attracted a lot of investors. Uh, what, are the, what are they liking about this? Um, they really see this as a huge market, right? I mean, it's still fairly, fairly early in the adoption cycle, but the sky's the limit, right? I mean, there's um, uh, multiple billions of dollars that we're chasing here as, as, a, as an opportunity. So huge market. The second thing they like is they like our track record. We've got one of the largest install bases in the country for the, for the platform, yet we're also one of the smallest companies in the space. So we've really won based on merit by having a really good uh, patient experience, really good provider experience, and then servicing our customers, which is not always common in healthcare. And the third is they go and they say, listen, this is a buying market. You've got the best product market fit out there. So go forth and sell. And that was really the, the focus of fundraising was to build a sales team and go as fast as possible. It is a, a growing market. There's also growing competition. So what are you doing to keep your market position? Well, first of all, we, we've got to get to the table. I mean, we've got to, we've got to be in the deals of, of the systems that are buying. I think the second thing we need to do is we really need to tell our story better. Um, we've, we're kind of a little bit too Minnesota nice, and uh, we've got a lot of really good information, and, and we need to project that out in the market broadly and say, no, this is a, there's a different way of looking at it, and, and it's actually really pretty cool. And, and so I think that's, that's a big part of it is to just get the market visibility for us. Thank you so much, John Pierce, CEO of Zipnosis. For Greater MSP Business, I'm Cindy Bracato.